Alright, so fix the squealing issue um, and also change out this 203 millimeter rotor with a gold one. I have a gold one up front. And it's also making that noise. This is a QS273. Hits 75 miles per hour. So I just got it propped up right here in the middle swing arm where the rear shock bolts onto the swing arm. I just have it under there like that. See it's 24 mil? Yep. Alright, so. Alright, so I have the zip tied, so hopefully um, I'm going to be able to do the work with it. I'm not going to have to drop it that far down. It's not like I'm taking off the whole thing. I'm hoping it'll give it enough play to drop it down, hit the bolts, and then put the brake back on. We're going to need to take off this tensioner because it's in the way. Turn the tensioner out of the way. Get this thing off of the actual bike. It's hot as hell. I don't know how Sharonster does this shit. Take off the this loosen it completely off and hit four mil. This side it is very important to have a clean workspace. Uh, I'm going to show you guys how I pull up my bike. Bridge, torque, everything. Now I got it up. Great. So now Yeah, don't do what I just did. Oh my god. Get that out of there before I caused more damage. See the brake pads look like they are weird. Very unevenly. Probably my fault. Probably took them. Anyways, there it is. Oh, I got her off. Hit these three bolts. It's gonna be a bitch to get back on. I'll tell you that. Oh my god! GoPro has failed me. I gotta take the brake out of the wiring and then loop the new brake back in. Yeah, there's that. But luckily, it's not the end of the world. And snippers, snip those, and I fish that old breakout. Run this back. Come. Oh my god. I fuck up a lot. So you hit these with four mil. Press this through the spacer and then through the wire pop that out and then roll in your new brake. So with my dumb ass, I wasn't using my brain. You're gonna wanna fish this out first. And then this will just freely come out. No, no problem. I had two spacers there, gaskets, whatever. I'm gonna leave that there. There's no directional arrow in them. Pretty horrible recording equipment, but I'll make do what I can. So this rotational, shouldn't have matched the angle that way. Run, run where the brake is like that. The spacer. I had to grab another tool because these new bolts that I came with are T25. You don't want them crazy tight to the point where you strip them, but definitely pretty tight. Don't know the actual spec of the foot pounds you're supposed to do, but remember cross hit, cross star, and then um, 
around it just to make sure you got everything.